Nearly 30 kilometers south of the capital Nairobi lies Mavoko Sub County in the former administrative center for the British colony, Machakos. With over 170,000 inhabitants, it offers opportunities for expansion and is swiftly growing into a metropolis. Along with population growth and rapid urbanization, inaccessibility to quality and affordable healthcare is a daunting challenge in Mavoko Sub County. Being an urban area and with the, in the companies around and with the wage bill, um, access to healthcare. In terms of access to healthcare, affordability. So this medical camp has given us access to healthcare, has given the community at large access to healthcare. Amidst the beauty and resilience of this community, many struggle to receive medical attention. Today, the M-Pesa Foundation, in partnership with Zuri Health, Lion's Sight, and Checkups Med, have transformed the Mavoko grounds into a hub of care and compassion. The foundation's medical camps, which is what we are doing here today, has an aim of alleviating the, you know, pain, alleviating suffering in com communities across the whole country. And what we want to do with these medical health camps is really to improve the medical outcomes, yeah, in regard to non-communicable uh, diseases, reproductive health areas, general health and wellness, and of course, always providing health um, education. With a staggering 1,313 participants, this health camp is a beacon of light for those seeking medical care and support. With 100 children under the age of 5 years old representing 7.6% of the participants, the camp ensured that even the youngest members of the community had access to essential medical services. Today we have free checkups from eye checkups, dental, we are screening for cancer, we are offering vaccination and we are doing general consultations and the medications that are being received here, including teeth extractions, are free. 400 patients received dental screening services. Among the services offered was the vital procedure of minor dental extractions. For 60 patients, this camp provided the relief they needed addressing dental issues that hindered their smiles and caused discomfort. We've introduced even new services other than what we had in the previous camp. So uh, services like dental uh, screening, we've been able to do minor surgeries, regular and basic teeth cleaning, and we've seen a lot of impact for this. Beyond the extractions, the camp emphasized preventive education, empowering participants with knowledge on proper oral hygiene and care. The goal was not just to treat immediate concerns, but also to lay the foundation for a lifetime of dental wellness. With unwavering dedication, this camp provided essential eye care services to the community. 582 individuals were screened for different eye conditions. Cataracts, a condition where the eye lens is clouded, saw 24 bookings for necessary surgical interventions. Allergic conjunctivities, which causes eye irritation, affected 215 individuals. For 11 participants, glaucoma, a silent thief of sight, was a concern. I came here because, you know, I have uh, eye problems. Uh, and uh, I, I have some, some, some swelling on my armpit. I was uh, examined and I was given medicine. I was uh, examined on eyes and uh, everything detailed. Then I was uh, told I would be told when to get the glasses. The dry eye syndrome proved to be a widespread issue affecting 216 individuals. Through targeted treatments and personalized care, the discomfort of dry eyes was alleviated, allowing these individuals to embrace life with greater ease. The camp set out to shed light on the prevalence and risks associated with cardiovascular diseases. Among those who attended the camp, 9% had recently been diagnosed with hypertension. This startling figure emphasized the importance of early detection and management in combating this widespread health concern.
the body mass index is a key indicator of a person's weight in relation to their height. 34 individuals representing 3% of the participants were classified as underweight and this highlighted the need to address issues of malnutrition as it can lead to various health complications. However, 5% of the patients screened were classified as overweight. Vaccines reduce risks of getting a disease by working with your body's natural defenses to build protection. The camp availed different vaccines to prevent life-threatening diseases, helping people of all ages live longer, healthier lives. At the sub-county level, Mavoko sub-county, I coordinate uh, immunization and reproductive health services. And today here, we are doing both immunization and uh, reproductive health services. Immunization services that we are offering here are routine immunization for the children, we're also doing a COVID-19 vaccination and vaccination for the teenage HPV vaccination, 10 to 14 years. The reproductive health services that we are doing here include family planning services, uh, both uh, long-term and, and, and short-term uh, services. We're also doing uh, screening of cervical cancer and breast examination. This camp leverage technology to record patient information and make it instantly accessible to different care providers present. Several technologies were also deployed for screening of tuberculosis and analyzing stress levels. Zuri Health also provides the technology uh, solutions by offering doctors services for free consultations using SMS and WhatsApp platforms. So that again helps link and create and make everything a lot more accessible and a lot more helpful in the communities. Today we um we, we used our AI to be able to do full screening and people to read people's HbA1c, cholesterol level, stress level, um, high blood pressure just from your face. And these are the things that will help change healthcare. Mavoko Sub-County, also famously known as Ati River, is home to cement factories, steel mills, export processing zones, and these industries are both a blessing and a curse to the inhabitants. Industry mingi hapa inaleta mosi mingi kama iko kambu lingine hapa ya chumba hapa chini inaleta ma, inaleta mosi watu ya atriba wako na shida mingi we have very many factories within this area so there is a lot of pollution and also scarcity of water so we deal with issues of the upper respiratory tract infections and waterborne diseases along with rapid industrialization and population growth poor waste management is a major health risk in Mavoko According to the STAR, four people died of suspected cholera cases between March 6th and 10th in 2023. Ugonjwa wa cholera iko. Lakini vile nasema atriva iko mahali ngine, iko mitaro ngine hapa. Iko michafu, iko takataka, siwechi, na hii mutare inapita toka. Inatoka hibi seti, inapita, inapita hapa katikati, inateremuke inaenda 39. Financial constraints aggravate healthcare inequality. Nearly 50% of the patients screened earned less than 10,000 shillings monthly income. Scanty resources force families to prioritize putting food on the table over seeking medical attention. This is my healthcare. Imetufanya vizuri kwa wengine wetu atakuwa tunaenda hospitali ukisikia kama uko mgonjwa huko unaenda unajiuliza utanunua unga ama utaenda hospitali so nikasema lazima ni attend na watoto wangu tukuje tuone juu hata wao hawakwangi wakifeel poa healthcare becomes an impossible dream and the burden of untreated illnesses looms heavily inakuanga na sukari pressure hata macho Na mimi si na siku wangi na pesa, mimi hakuna mtoto yangu anafanya kazi. Mimi kwa kipedha ni kochini kabisa. Kwa kusika pesa sababu na choma maindi. Napata kitu kidogo tu. Je inakosa uwe usiende ile sipitali ya wala pesa. Kini nikisikia matipapu ingini ya pure, inapiti ni toke ni niende ni tipiwe. Skyrocketing medical costs present an insurmountable obstacle for the impoverished. Even for those who can access health care, the weight of medical bills can plunge them further into financial ruin, making access to essential treatments an unattainable luxury. 
Una pesa, una, una ambia wenda nunue, una ndikuwa dawa. Na sasa ukienda kunua ya dawa, wezi kufodi kununua. Nearly 80% of the camp participants lacked basic medical cover. The Empesa Foundation and Zuri Health granted some of the patients the NHIF medical cover to guarantee them continuity of care. Mimi ni mfuraia sana juu, mimi siku wangi na NHIF. Anapitia janga moto kupwa sana juu, unajua mambo ya CJP ni kujitolea, hakuna maliku. Anime mfuraia sana siku ya leo sababu nitakuwa sasa, hiyo mwaka moja nalipiwa na mfuraia sana juu. Nikilipiwa nitakuwa, sitakuwa na janga moto fila na kuwanga na sababu hakuna, na kuwanga asa la sipanyangi kazi, hiyo kazi tunji wanafanyangi. Saa hii maisha yiko ngumu, hata hiyo NHF tulishindo wa kulipa. Kama hii yangu nasasema saa hii, kutoka jani wa sijalipa juu maisha yiko ngumu. Lakini chini wametufanyia, mina shukuru. Juu wametufanyia visuri, sayata tukenda hospitali tutuwa kwa na shida yoyote. For many, this health insurance coverage is a lifeline, a ticket to a brighter and healthier future. No longer will they have to bear the burden of uncertainty when faced with medical emergencies. Among the measures taken by Zuri Health to ensure continuous care is onboarding the patients to their free SMS service where patients can chat with a doctor, nutritionist, and even a therapist in the comfort of their home or office. Additionally, their AI-powered chatbot, Vera, allows these patients to order medication, book lab tests, and even book a specialist. Despite efforts made by the government to provide affordable healthcare, inadequate funding and limited access to medical facilities plague low-income neighborhoods, overcrowded clinics, insufficient medical supplies, and stretched staff are a daily reality. Voluntary cooperative arrangements help alleviate the disease burden through innovative approaches such as free health camps, which leverage technology to improve healthcare accessibility. Governments alone can handle healthcare. The biggest economy in the world, in the US, has struggled to be able to provide affordable healthcare. To the people, when we go to the UK and look at the NHS, it's crumbling, all that underfunding. And with all the issues that we have here today, the government can be able to do it. So public-private um, partnership begins to work. And today, um, Safaricom, True and Pesa Foundation, being a very responsible um, company, is looking at how to help provide, intervene in communities across Kenya, where the most vulnerable, the underserved, have access to healthcare. For this activity, we highly appreciate the support that you've given us because we've been able to reach uh, numbers that ordinarily we would not be able to reach at the facility level. We have been able to screen and vaccinate people that have never had time to come for COVID-19 vaccination at facility level. And this has been an opportunity for the community and for us as healthcare workers to reach out to more numbers. As the sun sets, we reflect on the incredible impact of the free health camp. From the early hours of the morning, a dedicated team of healthcare professionals and volunteers worked tirelessly, driven by a common purpose, to bring medical care and hope to those in need.